So we are left wondering about the future of a big piece of land in downtown Omaha. The Conacher campus is prime real estate sandwiched between the riverfront and the old market. Our Brandon Scott continues our coverage live at the northwest corner of the property. Mallory and John, it was, of course, a rough start to the morning for a lot of folks here in Omaha. Even Mayor Jean Stothert, she tells us she got this news just after 6 o'clock this morning. And while, of course, so much attention is being put on people's livelihoods, there's also a lot of talk about what will happen here at the Conagra campus in this area off of Omaha's riverfront. Mayor Jean Stothert was told the company had made a business decision. They will reestablish their headquarters up in Chicago. And while it's bad news for a lot of Omaha workers, Conagra is not completely going away. They did tell me that they would remain on that campus, but the words they used is we won't need as much space as we have now. A little history on what's happened here over the years. Back in 1986, Enron pulled out of Omaha, relocating to Houston. Six months later, Conagra announced plans to move to Tennessee. That put the wheels in motion for state and local leaders to pass legislation, creating tax incentives and exceptions. One provision, this river front property was tax free for 25 years. Mayor Stothert hoped for another deal with Conagra's CEO asking was there anything that the city, the Chamber of Commerce or the state could do as far as incentives or packages of incentives that would change the outcome and at that time he said absolutely no. But the mayor remembered the city's concessions of nearly 30 years ago, including wiping out a section of downtown to create Conagra's new home. We went to bat for them when they came here, and I'm very disappointed that they're leaving. Which leads to the question, what's to become of the Conagra campus? Stothert says Conagra only owns part of the six square block area. A development company in Minneapolis has the rest. She pointed to a study the city conducted recently that included possible land use of the Conagra campus. That included that whole riverfront area that we were looking at to redevelop and to make it more of a destination. So that was already included in our study and now we will just have to wait and see what they plan to do with that property that they're on. Now, some developers tell us they do see a lot of long term potential for this campus and this area, especially the strip of 10th Street that could perhaps be turned into something like Chicago's Grant Park connecting North Downtown to the old market. John and Mallory. All right. Thanks, Brandon Scott, reporting live downtown. And as this story continues to unfold, we invite you to follow developments on WOWT.com. We have full coverage about ConAgra's efficiency plan that includes job cuts and moving its headquarters to Chicago. Just go to the homepage and click where you see full coverage.